October 22, 1962, President John F. Kennedy orders a blockade and inspection of all ships inbound to the island nation of Cuba, preventing the shipment of nuclear weapons from the Soviet Union. This confrontation has come to be known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. All ships of any kind bound to Cuba, from whatever nation or port, where they're found to contain cargoes of offensive weapons to be turned back. The Navy provided airplanes, surface ships, and submarines to enforce the blockade. Earlier in October, photos from Air Force U-2 surveillance planes identified Soviet missile bases in Cuba. To get a more precise look at these sites, Navy RF-8 Crusaders from Navy Light Photographic Squadron 62 flew low-level photo missions over Cuba. These missions were flown at 500 feet and with a speed of approximately 500 to 600 knots. For their outstanding work in confirming the presence of Soviet weapons, the squadron was presented the Navy Unit Commendation, awarded personally by the President. It was the first time ever presented during peacetime. The U.S. quarantine of Cuba brought Cold War tensions to the brink of a nuclear conflict. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States. After a tense standoff, Soviets agreed to remove the missiles and return them to the Soviet Union, ending the conflict. For the Defense Media Activity in Acostia, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.